Yeah. Um, I don't. If you look at any peer-reviewed science, eating dietary cholesterol raises your blood uh, cholesterol, yep. builds up in your arteries. Cool. Okay. If you read an article where they're trying to go eggs are healthy, you know they might have some bullshit in there, but that's not backed by any scientific yeah, literature. Okay, so this is this consensus that cholesterol is causing heart heart so, disease. So is it only one way to get cholesterol, and that's by consuming cholesterol? Yeah, I was always I was always. Um, I think smoking cigarettes can raise your oh, yeah, cholesterol yeah, yeah. as well. I'm on men. Okay, but mainly it's from eating cholesterol. Okay. okay, so if you've got a high cholesterol, you lower your cholesterol by when you stop consuming it. Cool. Okay. And, and there's no, there's no um, cholesterol in any, any foods that are plant based then? No. no, no, cholesterol only comes from, so fish, squid, um, dairy milk, uh, eggs, flesh. Oh, animal. Yeah, it's an animal, it's, it's, it derives from animals. We have, we produce our own cholesterol in our body as well. So if I ate a piece of you, you know, you'd probably have some cholesterol in it as well. And if I ate enough of you, I'd probably die of a heart attack. Right, okay. Okay, so I don't think we're designed to be eating each other or other animals. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you on YouTube. You've seen me on YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> so you're not vegan? I'm not a vegan though. Oh, wow, well, okay. I think that video is quite, uh, quite interesting. Oh, wow, so you know about Challenge 22 and stuff, obviously, if you watch my videos. Is this one right now? Hey. Oh, it's sort of Challenge 22. Challenge 22. Today, yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't you try it? If you've seen me on my videos, <laughs> and you've just met me in real life. Do, do, you, know what, do you know what it is though, right? There's, there's, like, I, I think, I think the full sort of vegan thing uh, quite interesting, but the... I don't... And, and, and I know you hate to hear this, obviously, given... I don't feel... I wouldn't feel sad to kill an animal either. You wouldn't feel sad? Okay. Do you like, like, what what type animal? of animal? Uh, are you not, not a dog, I know you're Okay, you? okay, well, so why not? Uh, why does a dog, why, why wouldn't you, what, you'd feel sad if you killed a, if I killed a dog in front of you? Yeah. Why? It's my favourite animal, I think. Okay, so you, based on your little arbitrary decision making there, you, you, it's your favourite animal, so therefore it has more moral value than the other animal? For me, yeah. So, or do you think inherently the dog doesn't want to die, they suffer, they feel pain, yep. okay, and that's why you didn't want, don't want it to die, is it just because of your own preference? Because I could like you more than I like him, and then be like, oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that wouldn't, that's not how we determine morals in society, is it? No. Okay. So there's a reason why you like dogs more, and that's because you know you probably you probably met a few dogs in society. We care about dogs. You've been programmed to say these animals are food. Yep. Who cares about them? I've eaten them before, and that's just basically speciesism. You know what that is, yeah? It's like species overall. Yeah, it's just like racism, where you discriminate over race. Except you, you have, I, ha I had it too, even when I went, first went vegan. I'd feel more upset seeing dogs being butchered alive than I would seeing a fish being dragged out the ocean. Okay, and I'd, I had to analyse that part of my psychology and go, wait a second, why do I care more about that dog than I do about that fish? I don't know, I just don't. Yeah. I, know, I, know, I know there's, there's I've not got an argument. It's do you think it's by design? Do you think you, you just you were born like this, or do you think it's something you were taught? Uh, not to care about some animals and to care about others? Must be taught, have to have learned that from somewhere, bro. But that's why you look at it through the animal's eyes when you're having an issue of um, ethics. You say, okay, if I'm gonna, okay, that human being over there, that he's not me, what do I give a shit about him? Okay, just who, whatever happens to them happens. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go around hurting other human beings that I don't really care about, that I don't really know. Or do you think, okay, I'm a human being, I know what it's like to suffer, I don't wanna put them through unnecessary suffering, so I won't, it's called empathy, yep. yeah? So you look at issues of injustice through the victim's eyes, not through your own lens of like, speciesism. So you say, the is fish- that, is, that a, is that a real thing, speciesism? Yeah, yeah, yeah well it's basically just a way to, it's a, is this, is this a way that you, you can look it up. You, you would, no, I just mean, is it an actual one? Yeah, it is a thing, is man. It? Well, because it exists in you. The evidence is right here. You, you say you, you, you wouldn't feel bad killing and eating an animal. You said that, yeah? yeah but then I said, what about a dog? Yeah, so you're selecting which animals you wouldn't feel bad about, and that's something you've, been, you've learned. Yeah. Yeah. So you've just, you've just proved speciesism in yourself. I think it's maybe it's maybe how much how close you are to you though. In China, they don't the give dog. a shit about dogs, bro, do they? They just like chuck them in a cage, cut their paws off while they're still conscious, boil them in a big tank of water. They look at, at, at dogs like a lobster, boil a lobster alive. It's food to them, but not to you because you come from a different culture, so you've learned this behaviour. But the dog just wants to live just as much as the pig, as the fish, as the chicken. 
what would you, if I was to try some maybe vegan recipes or yeah. what would you like to see one person in the Are you on YouTube? Oh, we'll just let YouTube learn that. Are you a bodybuilder? Do you do weights or anything? Uh, yeah, I do it. Okay, so you got like Brian Turner. These are two bodybuilders, they do epic food. Brian Turner does a lot of the, the mock meats and stuff like that. In the UK, you got Sainsbury's, you got Tesco's, you got everything in there, man. And if you do Challenge 22, they mentor you. Like you say, okay, what can I get here? And they'll say, oh, try these soy milk, rice milk, almond milk, oat milk, find the one you like. If you don't like soy, try rice milk. If you don't like rice, try coconut milk. Yep. There's about 20 in there, man. You don't really want to be drinking hormones, cholesterol, pus and blood from a, the udder of a mother who's lost her child. You're a grown man. You don't want stuff growing inside of you th from hormones. You don't want lumps growing in your prostate. That's what ho drinking mammalian hormones does. Um, cheese, you know, find a good one. Vegan cheese. What's a good vegan cheese here in Scotland? Viola. Restaurants, do you have happy cow? Happy cow here applies, doesn't it? Happy cow? Give it a crack, bruz. No worries. Just remember those animals in your stomach, you, in your stomach when there's that flesh in your stomach, those animals didn't want to die, and their resting place is in your bowels. So think about that. You, 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 you'll hear it all the time, but I, I do think of it as, a, as like a, an order. Or an order? I like it. Uh, so that's... Um, it's so, it's superior, it's weird, human yeah, superiority. Yeah, so we're superior. That's, superior. That's, that's superior. Yeah. And what makes us a superior? Our intelligence? Intelligence for one, yeah. Okay. But do you know there's, there's things a fish can do that you can't do? That's not intelligence. They have a sixth sense, you know, they can, they can feel things in the water without even looking at them. Yeah, but that's not intelligence. Okay, I'll tell you an experiment. It's called the coloured plate experiment, okay? Done with like fish people eat, so trout and stuff like that. Okay, and they also had uh, primates in an, the other control group. So they had two plates, a uh, red and a yellow one. They had food on each plate. The animals had to learn off to, to eat off one coloured plate first, or the other plate would disappear. So if they had off the yellow plate, both plates would stay. If they had off the red plate, one plate would disappear, okay? So they had to learn that behaviour. The, the eating fish, like trout and stuff, did better than the primates, okay? So the, the scientist enlisted the help of his, of his four-year-old daughter, okay? The fish bet his four-year-old daughter. Now. Well, we say the fish in that experiment were more intelligent than his four-year-old daughter. Therefore, those fish have more moral value over his four-year-old daughter. So they should be in. The, she should be in the pot st on steam. <laughs> no. Do you know what I'm saying? So there's different types of intelligence. Okay. Of course. So when you start comparing human intelligence to a fish, inte fish's intelligence, or human intelligence to animals, we don't really understand how they think, do we? We just say, oh, they're not like us, so they're dumb. But let's just say they were dumb. Does intelligence justify immoral treatment? So you've got mentally retarded children, okay? They, 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 they don't have the mental capacity of a baby, some of them. Yep. Would that justify immoral treatment, in, in, yep. enslavement? So you, you your logic has to be consistent. You can't just say, oh, we're superior, so we can do whatever we want. You know, there's people in history that had that same view on different races, yeah? Yep. So you have to be consistent with your logic. You can't say it's okay for some animals and not okay for those animals. We're just making arbitrary choices based on your programming. Okay. You, would you agree with that? Intelligence doesn't um, I, I think, I think determine moral treatment, does it? Well, if you look at say a lion and what, what that's going to eat in the, in the wild, that's just an order. The order of how it eats. No, that's a survival situation. That's not order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, that, I mean, the lion is doing that to survive, yeah. okay? You, you don't have to do that to survive. I, I don't, I don't yeah. have to. No, no, no. no. Yeah, but, but the lion does have to. That will die. No, but that's just what I meant by the order. It's not really order. It's just survival. Okay, yeah. the lion is a, is a uh, natural carnivore. They don't possess something called uh, moral agency. Okay, mm -hmm. they can't be held accountable for their actions. You can, you know right from wrong, yeah? You're not doing it to survive. If you were, I wouldn't be standing here and saying, hey, if you went and, if you had to eat a fish to survive, I wouldn't, I, I probably wouldn't, but I wouldn't stand beside you and say you should, you, you should die. Yeah. You know, if you ate your own dog to survive, I wouldn't stand beside, in front of you either. Okay, but you probably wouldn't. You probably wouldn't. <laughs> okay, dog, you probably wouldn't, okay? But see, that's inconsistency yep. as well. So lions are doing it to survive, you're not a lion, okay? And no, we, we've got alternatives. Okay. Cool. Would you agree or? You can, you can not agree. No, we do have alternatives, yeah. I yeah, agree. you don't have to agree with me. No, no, I do, I do. Okay. The, the, the problem is, like, as much as, as much sense as you make, nothing in my brain's going, I'm oh, getting 30 and not kind of fish now. Yeah, no, how old are you? Not, you're 30? 26. 26, 26, the beard makes you look older. But. What is you? Hey? What is you? 30, I'm 30. 30. So that's why I thought we might be the same age. So 26 years of conditioning. Fish are food, cows are food, pigs are food. And you're not gonna just, it's not gonna unravel in one conversation. 
but after watching a few videos, you got you got a lot of conditioning. A lot of society has conditioned you, your parents have, tradition. It's on TV constantly getting advertised. Oh, meat, burgers, burgers, food, food. You don't see slaughterhouses constantly like I do. You don't see animals and fish suffering constantly like I do. You don't see people in hospitals filled up because they're eating bacon, getting heart disease. Like These things come to you in time and you'll slowly start to wake up. This conversation might just be a big seed in your mind and you'll start thinking for yourself. Have your own independent thought. Don't listen to what's going on on your TV, brother. Cool. Thank you. On you, mate. All the best in your day. <laughs> <laughs>